my name is Maria. Um, I'm 29 years old and I'm from Toledo, uh, Spain. I don't know if you know the city, it's a very beautiful city. <laughs> yes. Um, well, I'm, I'm lost my, I lost my job uh, two months ago. And now I'm trying to improve my English because it's a very, very important part and necessary to put in your CV. Yeah. And I examine, I take, uh, I took an yeah. exam uh, two years ago, uh, TOEIC. Right. Uh, um, I got the level B2. Okay. Um, yes. And I, I hope uh, to get the more level, the next level, the C1. Yes. Um, but I have to work a lot. I have to practice more and more. Yes. And the only way to practice uh, to me now is uh, attending your classes okay. uh, and talking with you now. It's very, very useful to me for me. Okay, well, Thank I have you. to say your uh, level is really, really strong in relation to the detail. You're not making any real errors with the, the difference between the noun, the verb. So in general, uh, after one minute, I think your level is quite strong. You have a very good understanding and foundation of English, which is fantastic. I'm trying with the Zoom, I'm trying <laughs> to make the screen a little bit bigger. Do you think it's possible to make the screen bigger or... I, I think, don't know. Ah, because yes, it is. It's the first time I use Zoom. No, I think I think so. it's for me. So I think this is perfect. This is better. Okay. Um. So, um. Let me see this for example. Exit full screen. Yes, I'm just going to try and make it a bit smaller and a bit more comfortable for everybody. So okay. Toledo. Um. Tell me a little about Toledo. Well, it's a very very ancient city. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, it's like um, medieval. I don't know if these yeah. words exist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, and well, the the thing that I like about Toledo is uh, the um, uh, the ancient city. Yeah. Inside of Toledo, there are more uh, parts. Uh, there. Are modern parts but the ancient city is in located in in a high place and and the river is around this ancient city yeah uh, it's so beautiful because it has a big cathedral and a lot of church and a lot of uh strength um yeah uh, um, no, fantastic. Um, and what about your your English? So, um, what do you think about English? For you, what do you think is the most difficult thing to learn English, in your opinion? Um, I think I need uh, more vocabulary. Okay. Uh, and I think uh, maybe in, uh, sometimes uh, the tenses them also are difficult to me, and I. Yeah. <laughs> I usually doubt about and I need to practice more speaking. I, so re really you think speaking is maybe the most important area for you at the moment? Yeah, because I'm I'm not only tired of reading <laughs> and do, doing exams, uh, yeah. writing. Um, I think uh, the proposal of... Uh, learning English and dominate it uh, properly is yeah. uh, speak <laughs> and, you know, get yeah. the soldier. I don't know if it does a six. What, what is the word? Soltura. Sol, sol, so, que significa soltura? Um, confianza, uh, ah. fluidez, yeah. fluent, fluent. So similar to maybe confidence. Yes, it, it's oh, okay. a mix of confidence and fluent. Yeah. Oh, okay. I never heard that word before in my life. It's yeah. very good. <laughs> so do that. It's like, <laughs> like mm, when you put your car, your keys and uh, go, uh, arrancar. <laughs> like to, yeah. like um, a kick, like a kick or a jump, because for the yeah. car, yeah. in English yeah. we say a jump start is like a kick or a boost. 
Uh, boost, yeah. That's okay. it, yeah. Um, I just saw we had another person connect or want to connect to the Zoom. Would you be yeah. happy? Will we try to introduce the yeah, person? Yeah, sure, sure. Why not? Okay, so let me connect. Um, I'm trying to find the participants. I think maybe she's gone. Ah, she's gone. I think oh. it was Alejandra. It's a pity. Mm -hmm. But the next time I see somebody, I will I will connect the person. Um, and what about, for, well, two questions. So to practice your speaking English, do you have the opportunity in Toledo? Is it very difficult? Well, obviously with the pandemic, it's probably impossible. Yeah. But the other it's, possible, with the internet, it's probably easy to practice. Yeah, it's very difficult in the local, with local situation. But my father um, usually talks uh, English sometimes I yeah. but my father is mm, 60 years old yeah. so now he's losing all of his English because he studied but when he was young so mm, it's difficult to yeah. keep mm, his English and Mm, I have my father and I have my yeah. my brother, but my brother has a uh, level down. Uh, I think B1 or yeah. A2, and uh, sometimes it's difficult to to talk to him. But that's 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 a fantastic situation with your father, and probably he is in the minority. I imagine his because I think older generations do not have the same so. He's in a very good situation, I think. Yeah, yeah. When when he travels, and he's always the <laughs> the communicator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, when I I think um, he tries to to speak English, and he knows more than he thinks. Yes. But sometimes it's difficult to, hey, Dad, let's talk in English. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then the second question is in relation to phrasal verbs. Do you oh. think that's a very difficult area? Because from my knowledge of Spanish, I don't think you have phrasal verbs in Spanish. So do you think that's a particularly hard area for you? Yeah, it's very difficult because uh, I didn't know that it was a lot of phrasal <laughs> yeah. uh, verbs. Um, in Spanish, we have um, another kind of uh, difficult expressions or difficult yeah. um, things to 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 learn. But phrasal verbs um, are sometimes are sometimes difficult. But I think um, it's. Um, it's not useful if you put a, a sheet of phrasal verbs and you read it and you try to memorize. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't learn that way. So I prefer what you what you do what when you teach uh, to get an article or a video and to see watch uh, um, here and try to connect the ideas yeah. and mem memorize that way. Fantastic. Well, um, your level is really, really, I'm very happy because you, you speak really, really well. I just want to show you a couple of uh, little examples. So in Toledo, I think you said a lot of uh, church in Toledo. I don't yeah. know if you can see the text here on the, can you see my text? Mm. Ah, no, because my screen is not shared. Sorry, I need to share my screen and you can see my okay. text. Um, sorry. So here at the okay. bottom, I can I've written a few comments. As of ter churches. So yeah. Churches. Well. E exactly. <laughs> so normally, exactly. So it's necessary in the plural. A lot is necessary in the plural. A lot of church. Yeah. Perfect. Well yeah. done. And the second one. What do you think? It's not technically wrong. The second one. But what do you think might be a possible alteration or a possible? Difficult for me. Yeah, yeah. For me, that would be number number one. I think difficult for me. Uh -huh. And then you said my brother is a level down, which is fine. And um, what other possibilities can you think? A level down. What other uh, under? Yeah, exactly. A level under or a level below me. It's very very mm -hmm. good. Excellent. And um, here it's just a small issue as well. What do you think is a small correction here? It was a lot of phrasal verbs. So this is all correct. I think it's probably just it. 
yeah and, there was there yeah. was yeah there are or there probably there yeah. are yeah mm -hmm. a lot of phrases. okay super so that's just a good example i can see we have another person uh i think i don't know his name aruthia but i'm going to admit this person just to continue the conversation is that okay 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 perfect one second and hopefully we can uh, see the um the person i think i hope they're connecting participants no we lost the person again it's a pity, <laughs> it's a pity. Uh, no problem so in toledo what's the situation at the moment in toledo with the with the virus and the pandemic how can you explain this situation well, it's uh, a very difficult situation because uh, Mm, I think the government is not conscious about the mm, danger we are in. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are a lot of uh, people, there are a lot of uh, incidents, I don't know. Inc yeah, but what, what do you mean incidents? What type of incidents? Like, uh, yeah, uh, like uh, a lot of cases. people per mm, a hundred of habitants. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think uh, they are um, they are abandoning or they yeah. are leaving the the restrictions like open the bars, the cafes, and open the shops, uh, which are not uh, essential. Yeah. Uh, like um, cloud cloud shops or something like that. And I think we are not prepared for that by now yeah, because yeah. it's it's very dangerous, I think. And I'm afraid I yeah. just go to the supermarket um, and yeah, at the home and give a, a go for a walk. And yeah. That's it. I yeah. don't want to I don't want to see even my friends. I know, uh, I know. It's difficult. Because I'm worried about my family, my yeah. parents are old. Yeah. So, yeah, yes. yeah, absolutely. But on the street, so my impression is in Toledo, a lot of things are open and a lot of people are on the street. Is, is that your impression? Well, um, it's not obviously the same. Yeah. Um, the city is not, um, it's not the same now. Yeah. Uh, than in a normal situation but I think um, bars open I I try to understand the the pro the proprietaries for pro yeah. Pro yeah um but I I think we are not prepared I think yeah. we have to wait I think we have to wait the the effects of the vaccine. Yeah. Um, and I think to, and I think that this is um, contraproducente, con, contra. Yeah, exactly. Very similar. Count, counterproductive. Counterproductive. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, and normally Toledo is probably a place with a lot of tourists and a very busy place. So. At the moment, I imagine nobody is really visiting. So, what's yeah. the is the atmosphere different? Yeah, this is uh, probably that um, what makes me <laughs> very sad because I yeah. I love the the tourism. I love to see mostly Japanese <laughs> visiting yeah, yeah. the churches, the cathedral, the museums, yeah. and now it's all closed and. Uh, cultural industry is is in red numbers so yeah, yeah. it's it's very depressing yeah, totally. very <laughs> because good yeah. i i mentioned the the culture the industrial culture yeah. because i i get a master in in music management so wow. i can't uh, have a job in what I like, so. <laughs> yeah. So music, you say music management, is that correct? Yeah. And what type of um, position would that be, like managing artists or managing bands or creating events? Yeah. 
yeah, you can manage bands, artists, whatever, and book uh, artists to the festivals and also organize festivals yeah. and concerts, every kind of events related to music. Okay, fantastic. And um, what have you started to try and uh, make a way or put your foot in the door or have you tried to to work a little in that industry? Yeah, I tried, but the problem here is uh, very, very curious. Uh, we have uh, País Vasco, yeah. Bilbao, and we have Catalonia, Barcelona, and most of the culture industry of uh, Spain yeah. is there. Okay. And if you don't, if you don't have the proper level and almost native uh, yeah. of Euskera or Catalan, ah, okay. the local languages, yeah. you can't work there. So okay. it's very, it's a very big handicap. You know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic uh, vocabulary and even in music. So you, you say in, in relation to the music industry, it's difficult for that reason. Yeah, because um, that uh, regions, yeah. that these regions yeah, exactly. are very, very narrow minded. Okay. And it's so difficult to get a job because when you apply in the offer, yeah. uh, you see you have to get uh, the most bigger, the most higher level in Euskera or Catalan, and yeah. it, this is a handicap. You, <laughs> they only want people from there. But in Madrid or in Toledo, I'm sure you yeah. have a lot of maybe musicians in, in, in that area. Yeah, but Madrid is the handicap. Uh, the, uh, another handicap of Madrid is um, um, if you want to live there and if you want to get a job uh, from music management or that, yeah. um, the salaries are very low, yeah. are maybe the lowest uh, audiovisual culture. It's very, very devalued, yeah. uh, I don't yeah. know, in Spain. And if you if you want to live um, in Madrid, the um, the salary is very low, and yeah. also the if you want to um, lend uh, a flat or you want to yeah to live there, it's it's difficult. If you want, if you um, get. 65 uh, no uh, 600 euros yeah and the flat you have you you have to pay 400 yeah, it's yeah. impossible to <laughs> exactly it's difficult yeah okay oh, can i show you uh, i'm just going to show you some of the um the vocabulary because again it's really good quality yeah. conversation and really good so here Thank i'm going to i'm going to move my screen so you, everybody can see the corrections and uh, I just want to show you some important uh, interesting comments because very good conversation you have a very good ability to mm -hmm. to speak and um, some excellent vocabulary so first uh, Kate this is a good example so you said a lot of incidents and there's a small difference I suppose between cases and incidents so for the virus very very similar I mean practically the same but incident maybe is more an accident so if you have an incident it's probably more something an accident or a car crash or yeah. something like that is an incident and then obviously just for the, the the virus it's probably a lot of cases okay so just the pronunciation of restrictions you said something like restriction but it's just <laughs> a simple simple uh, so restrictions a lot of restrictions with the, the virus restrictions. okay you used a very good structure so it's not prepared by now, but this is a very, very advanced and very difficult structure by now. I don't know if you understand it perfectly, but it's really, really difficult. So can you give me another example maybe with by now? Um, it's very hard to use it correctly. 
by now i think that the economy is not getting better yeah it's possible but the significant really is a lot of work you are waiting a long time or a lot of work until now and so for example i had to produce a document i had to do some homework for school and i had three days to do it so you would think by now i should have done it uh -huh. but in your case i think you say not prepared at this moment or not prepared now it's a very delicate structure by now yeah, so the significance okay. is you have worked a long time before That's okay difficult. and the next one is very important so you said that because in espanol it's properly como se dice de, in espanol Propietario. exacto so it's a, like a false friend because in english a property yeah. is the building the property is the building la propiedad yeah and then the person who owns unless we have the verb to own is the verb and then the owners would be probably the best translation yeah like a false friend a little mm -hmm. and then this word is very very difficult for pronunciation because i know in spanish it's impossible for me to pronounce this word in spanish but in english it's the vaccine vaccine vacuna, vacuna. Okay, so vacuna is vaccine 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 That's okay. a difficult pronunciation but vaccine okay counterproductive very good um vocabulary excellent vocabulary and then you said i get a master's so obviously get in this case is the present i got yeah. i got yeah. Yeah. So, because get is very flexible it has the significance to obtain or to achieve so yeah. here it's probably i got a master's because definitely you achieved it in the past yeah okay and then your example with the industry the music industry the verb to book is brilliant really really good brilliant book them and my only doubt is here too. What might be the better solution here? For yeah, yeah. So it's very yeah. small, but it is very obvious. And you book them for a music uh, concert. You book them for a party. So typically, book somebody for. Yeah. Okay. And the next one is very funny as well because it's common, really, really common. This pronunciation difficulty with Spanish speakers to English. In English, it's to organize. And it's normally a very difficult pronunciation from Spanish to English. And lots of people confuse the pronunciation, but really it's to organize. Okay. Yes. And then a very good example. These regions are perfect. These regions are those reasons. In this case, it's no problem because it's plural. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then apply in the offer. Probably it's better apply for so no. we have two possibilities apply apply for a job apply for a position but apply to is the university or apply to the company mm -hmm. okay so there's just a small difference apply to or apply for and then um, and then the final examples i think you said the most higher but what's the correction here do you think yeah the highest yeah exactly so that's just a, a good example of the comparative and the superlative <laughs> devalued and undervalued is very difficult vocabulary so probably in your case you said the position of the music manager the industry is probably undervalued that has the significance that people do not appreciate it like they should yeah devalued is a little difference my car has devalued so when you you know the little difference yeah uh, to things uh devaluate related to things uh, yeah. like car, house, uh, mobile phone, or maybe, yeah, undervalue it that people don't, yeah. doesn't, uh, uh, people don't, don't yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> people don't interest, don't show interest about. Yes, very good. It is possible with devalue and undervalue for things. So things is possible for the two, but you're right. Undervalue is more the perception. and. Yeah. Yeah, devalue is just to lose your value. So the yeah. car, yeah, so very little difference, but very good example. Okay. And then you said lend a flat. Yeah, lend is... This is very yeah. important, yeah. Lend is to give another, no? Yeah, yeah, so lend... Yeah, so it's the opposite, I... Ah, it's very important. So in Espanol, creo que es prestar. Yeah. Tienes dos verbos, creo que prestar y dar un prestar. Sí. Y esto es muy común, de, de mezcla, es muy importante. 
porque eh, prestar creo que en inglés es to lend. Yeah. I think y dar y prestar is to borrow. Yeah. So to lend and borrow are very important, but in relation to a flat, creo que es más posible alquilar or different. Yeah, yeah, alquilar. Okay, so alquilar. To is rent, to rent, yeah. Tenemos un otro verbo también muy similar to let, and it is possible as well, and maybe you're confusing the two. So to let mm -hmm. a flat or to rent a flat are two. Okay. Possible. But the other verbs are completely different. To lend and to borrow are completely different. Yeah. It, it's very important because a lot of people confuse that a lot of people and then the next one is the classic example so just the pronunciation the sheet <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah it's, diff <laughs> it's difficult to yeah but it's sheet good and... <laughs> yeah exactly so it's like the verb to eat you know comer to eat so it's the same pronunciation eat and sheet is the pagina the page sheet yeah very good exactly so there is a big difference between sheet and the other uh, words as well. So that's very good. <laughs> okay, so that's just a good example, I think, of um, speaking. And of course, uh, if you give me permission later, we can maybe show some people just the, the conversation to encourage sure. everybody. Um, and I will try to maybe put the comments and uh, for me, it's perfect. And well, thank you so much for, for watching and attending the classes. Have you a general um, opinion or any feedback about how to improve the classes? What do you, any suggestion to, to Well, um, I think um, the introduction you yeah. show us every day, I think uh, maybe um, instead of every day, yeah. you could show us uh, uh, Monday or yeah. Tuesday or Wednesday, the, the day you prefer um because i think um when i saw the people is connected yeah. at the moment yeah. uh it um, sometimes it distends the the, yes. the number of, yeah, yeah. of people um maybe it's a little it's very useful but maybe or if you can resume that or yeah. um, i don't know that's and the the other things are so good because read an article and very good articles and yeah. and videos it's, it's a very practical way so yeah. and the everything. connection your connection is generally okay there's there's and yeah. yeah yeah no problem the first day i attend to class it was uh, very very bad but now uh, no problem in okay. these last classes super um fantastic i to <laughs> excuse me i totally um understand and agree with the introduction and uh, i definitely think some people fall asleep and maybe some people connect <laughs> later but the reason i started to do it continuously was because I was realizing a lot of new people were liking the page, yeah. a lot of new people were following. So I was just okay. a little conscious of, of that. But um, mm -hmm. no, I agree. It's, and I suppose every day some new people are joining or watching, but for sure, um, I, I need to try and find a little change to that. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much from uh, calling from Toledo. An absolute pleasure. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome thanks to you i i feel very very great about talking to you <laughs> good, good. i'm delighted as well and um have a great day in toledo and um, i'm sure yeah. the weather the weather is is nice today in toledo it's nice today it's, it's sunny yeah That's and normal. in dublin not great i think i have a picture here um i'm <laughs> going to show everybody a picture because then they can see the, the picture of dublin so here is this morning it's quite nice actually today <laughs> yeah. yeah but um before today last week it was very cold but yeah uh, we have a uh, last month very very <laughs> snowy <laughs> yeah. yeah i saw the pictures a lot of uh, snow in everywhere yeah incredible Okay. okay, so thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you for connecting and thank you for watching the classes and hopefully they will help a little in the future. Yeah.
hope so. Okay. Bye. Have a nice day. You too. Bye-bye.